Hey everybody, it's um, Monday, uh, January 21st, 2012, 2013 I should say. It's about 7.55 in the morning Pacific time. And uh, yeah, believe it or not, I'm in my room right now. You might be asking yourself well, why you're in your room. I'll explain why. You see, today is Martin Luther King Day, as we all know. Giving basically a day to res give respects to L MLK, as, they, as people call him for short, and everything he's done. And this also means that my mom, like any other school teacher, is off work today. So she's off work, and she's sleeping in, and. Build, and uh, unlike tomorrow, where if I do get up early, I will be doing a video in the living room, today I'm doing one here in my bedroom due to the fact that she's home today, just like everybody else. It's also basically Inauguration Day, we, the, re, the uh, second inauguration for Barack Obama, and also it's a kind of a day to sit back and relax now and kind of bask in the glow of your favorite team, if you know what I mean, winning the NFC Championship or the AFC Championship and going to the Super Bowl in two weeks. But that's not why I'm, but that's not why I'm doing this video for. The reason I'm doing this video is to talk about something. You see, Electric Dragon, Matt Bennett, if you will, Matt Burnett, I think his name is, or Animat as he likes to call himself, recently did a top 12, a top 10 basically, but he kind of split it in two. It was a top 5, essentially a top 10, but a top 5 of best and worst movies. And at the end of that, of best and worst animated movies, that is, and at the end of that, he kind of previewed what was going to be coming this year in 2013. And let's just say he was kind of okay with some, and some he wasn't looking forward to. And somebody was like, and somebody was like, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Well, I'm here with sort of a list of the animated films that are listed right here. I got it on my uh, Internet Explorer on my i, uh, which is I got it on my Internet Explorer, which I have on my Xbox 360. But here, courtesy of MovieWeb. Wikipedia and a few others, I do have a list of some of the films that are being considered, that are being planned and considered for a 2013 release, if not later on. Now remember, just because I'm reading these off doesn't mean they're going to be released this year. They might be held back for another year or two. And this is from MovieWeb, this first one, and I'll try to find the link and provide it down below for you guys. But the first ones are basically listed just with the just with the two just with the 2013 year. There's no release date, no month, no day, just the year. It's just a year right now, Be and because of the fact that these might not even come out this year, they might come out next year. But here's the movies that have the 2013 year on them. 2013 year on them. First up is Tonka. Tonka, like in Tonka trucks, that's being planned or for the, a possible release this year, if not next year, and it's going to be done by Sony Pictures Animation, so I would say more so by the end of this year, going into next year, because the focus for Sony right now, for Sony Pictures Animation, is going to be the Smurfs too. Then another one is Bobby Yeh. Bobby Yeh is being planned this year. Um, I don't know much about it. Um, it's a short animated. It's a animated horror short. So there you go, right there. And then another one we have consuming spirits. It's also being planned this year. They do got a trailer out for that. Another one is berserk. They have a trailer out for that. And I'm trying to see exactly what this is, trying to find it. 
who is making it. It doesn't say, it just says it's action, animation, and fantasy. It says Berserk, the Golden Age Arc 3 Descent. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see exactly what this is uh, what this is all about when it gets released. But that's one of the movies listed. Another one is going to be a direct to DVD and Blu-ray as well as directly on demand which comes out in the mid part of this year according to what I understand and that's Superman Unbound based off the Superman Brainiac uh, graphic novel or story and then according to um, Wikipedia you got Ernest it's Ernest and Sestel or something like that. Sestine or Christine or Sestine or whatever you will. It's basically, from what I understand, it's a move. It's a traditional animated film, and it's being released courtesy of France. France, I think it's France or Europe that's releasing this uh, film. Then down here we have Tarzan, which looks like, from what I understand, could be planned for release later this year. And it's not a 3D update of Tarzan from Disney, it's a new one. Then you got Suicide uh, Shop, and I'm going to look up Tarzan first of all before I do anything. See who's making this. Uh, this is being made... I don't know who's making this. You do have a trailer out, but again, I don't know who's making it, but it looks like it, it looks like it's going to be a good. It looks like it might be okay. It's just called Tarzan. It's not called anything else. Uh, and then again, like I said, you got Suicide Shop, which is I think it's a France film, I believe, a film out of France. It's being released this year. Look into that. Yes, it's being released by France. It's an animated comedy musical, so look forward to that if you're living in the France, French area. Imaginary Enemies is also being planned for this year, maybe next year, we don't know yet. And this is being released by DreamWorks, so I'm guessing it's going to be later on this year. That's what I'm looking at because DreamWorks has already got, I think, a few other things in the works this year. So I'm thinking Imaginary Enemies will be at the end of this year, just like Rise of the Guardians was. And then another one we have is Metgol. Metgol is being released this year. It's got a trailer. Um, see who's releasing this. The, tr the poster looks very interesting. Makes it look very intriguing to want to go and see. Um, if the thing will come up. I'm always checking my, you know, my um, router here because I don't know what's going to take it so long. There we go. Sometimes you got to do it twice. Uh, this is being released courtesy of. It looks like it's a. It's called. Metal Goal is basically short. Is basically a translation of Fußball. Fußball. You know, and it's basically I guess a Latin animated film, animated sports film. As being planned for this year. Uh, we also have Heavy Metal. That's right. Um, I don't know if this is a new one. I'm trying to see. It's being released by Paramount. It says it's an all new animated film inspired by the sci fi magazine Heavy Metal. It'll be stamped by the erotic and violent storylines and images that remain the trade that remain the trademark of the magazine that's that debuted in 1977. The film will consist of eight or nine individual animated sequences, each of which will be directed will be directed by a different director, from what is being conceived as an R-rated adult-themed feature. So, yeah, it's another version of Heavy Metal, obviously a remake. And just like with Heavy Metal and Heavy Metal 2000, it'll be an R-rated animated feature. So, unless you're over 17 or at 17, uh, you're not going to be able to see it unless you go with a parent. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah.
We have to split this in a few parts, folks. I apologize. The next one is Acura. It's going to have Garrett Hildren, Christine Stewart, and Ken Wantaben. And it's going to be distributed by Warner Brothers. And basically, it's an all new animated action sci fi remake of the Japanese anime. So. That's going to be very interesting uh, when it gets made, when it gets released. Because as anybody has said, you know, sometimes a remake is not always, you know, better than the original. We'll see what Warner Brothers stamps out or brings out this year. Another one scheduled for this year is by Summertime Entertainment. It is Dorothy of Oz. That's right, Summertime Entertainment releasing their own Oz movie. And it's got the voices of Dan Aykroyd. James Belushi, Martin Short, Kelsey Grandma, Lee Michelle, and again it's being released this year. And basically the plot is they got to stop some kind of jester or something from turning people into puppets. I I don't really know. They got a trailer out for it. Check it out. My think my thoughts on this is it's going to be a direct to video DVD release. If it's not, I'd be surprised because you already have Oz the Great and Powerful coming out in a few months from Disney. So I guess they're capitalizing on that. Uh, another one is Mighty Mouse which is being released by Paramount. Oh, that's possibly scheduled for this year if not next year. And then you got Beast of Burden which is being planned for this year if not next year. Now, the re now some of these in my opinion even though they have um, they have the uh, 2013 release, like I said at the beginning, it doesn't mean they're going to be released in 2013. It might be 2014. It might be the end of this year, towards the end. Uh, Beast of Burden being, is animated, being released by Dark Horse Entertainment. So I don't know if anybody who is a Dark Horse comic fan knows of them. But if you do, you got a movie coming for you right there. Checking my time here. Got two and a half minutes to go. Alright, and then we have Yogi Bear 2, which is being planned for a 2013 release, which I would guess would be in the same vicinity if they're going for that as the first one, which would be a December release. So, yeah, Yogi Bear 2 obviously being penciled in for a 2013 release and I'm guessing like I said at the same time the end of the year just like the last one so look forward to that if you're looking forward to seeing a sequel and apparently the sequel is supposed to finally have Cindy Bear in there but we'll have to wait and see another one is an animated remake or live action or CGI remake of the Incredible Mr. Limpet. You remember the classic Don, uh, at, um, the classic uh, Don Knotts film, that kind of blend animation with live action. It'll be released by Warner Brothers, others, and one person is asking, courtesy of Twitter, is there nothing original in Hollywood these days? So. Yeah, Incredible Mr. Limpet is getting a remake um, this year. Apparently planned, actually, for this year. So that's going to look uh, really, really interesting uh, when it gets released. I had to redo do my thing there. And then we have Batman The Dark Knight Returns, which will be released uh, at the end of next week and it's going to be a direct to video DVD deal so that's Jan now we're getting into the ones with the dates this is January 29th and again it's direct to video DVD for the Dark Knight Returns Part 2 and then February 14th one of the movies that Animat is not looking forward to it's Escape from Planet Earth that's being released on February 14th and then from and then on March fifteenth we have from up on Popper Hill, I believe that's yeah from up on Popper Hill, which I believe 